Hey everyone, so there's this bridge in Germany called the Magdeburg Water Bridge. Now what happened with this bridge is there were two waterways that they wanted to cross each other, but they didn't want them to mix together. So they built a bridge over one waterway to let the other water pass. So the question is, when boats go over the bridge filled with water, did engineers have to design for the weight of the boats or not? Or a different way of putting it, when a boat goes over the bridge, does the bridge actually feel the weight of the boat? So in order to answer this question, I built my own water bridge to see what happens when boats try to cross it. Okay, this is my water bridge. So, in the center here is my bridge. Here's the water up here. You'll notice that at this part, there's a cutout section that does not have any support. It's completely supported by this scale here. So first I'll show you that this scale does indeed work. It's down here at around 210 grams. If I put a weight on it, it does indeed increase. You can see right there, it went up to around 275 grams. So what would happen if we put our weight in a boat crossing the bridge? Let's see. So here, here comes our boat floating across and let's see if we can see the weight increase. Nope, doesn't even move. So you can see it's right on top of it and it does not increase the weight that this bridge actually has to support. This is really cool actually. So when you design a water bridge, it doesn't matter how many boats go over it, it doesn't increase the weight that the bridge actually has to support. But if it were a car bridge or normal bridges, the bridge of course has to support the weight that goes on it. So why does this happen? Why when you place a weight in the water, it increases the weight that the bridge has to bear, but if you place that same weight on the bridge, it does not increase the weight when it's in a boat. The reason has to do with buoyancy. So when you place the weight in the water directly over the bridge, the entire weight is located in the bridge area. So of course the bridge has to bear the weight of it. But <clears throat> when you place it in a boat, it displaces the equivalent weight of water that this weight weighs. So notice how deep it goes. I'll show you here. So the amount of water that that is displacing weighs the exact same amount as the rock. So what this means is that instead of the weight being placed right over the bridge, it actually increases the level of the water slightly across the entire river. So across the whole river, it raises the amount of water in the river ever so slightly. So the only amount of weight that this feels when you place a boat in it is a very minuscule amount of water raising very slightly, just a negligible amount. So when you build a water bridge, you actually only have to design for the small amount of water that it needs to hold on top. Other than that, you could put any amount of weight on a boat that could go across it that you want. It won't have to bear any load on this bridge below other than the water. Hey everyone, thanks for watching another episode of The Action Lab. If you haven't subscribed to my channel yet, consider subscribing. And you can also hit the bell button to be notified when my latest video comes out. And thanks again for watching and I'll see you next time.